1952 Chevy dump truck. And this old girl has it ran in at least probably 43 or so years. The last time she was tagged was in 79. And as you can see, she's a little rough, but there is a motor underneath the hood. The interior, well, we do have the uh, Spider-Man performance package here. There's two of these guys in here, but I don't think they're vicious. We'll relocate them later. We do have a snake skin in here. And that's about as far as I've looked in here. We loaded her on the trailer and she rolls pretty good. I think that's a set of spark plugs underneath the seat. No big old snakes underneath there? Guess not. Ooh, I think that's a new box of spark plugs. It is. Box is a little dry rotted, but okay, the moisture's got to these. We were gonna use these, but uh, I guess not. Around back, we have good old dump bed. She is a hydraulic dump bed, unlike this cable dump bed or that hand crank dump bed on the 38. So we're moving up in the world with fanciness. And the bed's full of trash because it was sitting in a field and I guess anything out there, you just throw it in there and you wouldn't have to worry about it. A little bit of rust here and there. The PTO's up here for the bed and it has about 70,000 miles on it, says the odometer. And this little spider dude, he runs away when you tap on him. So we'll relocate him in a minute. Underneath the hood, I do believe we have the inline six. I ain't looked her over too good yet. Let's see. Well, something's missing. We are missing plug wires. At least all the plugs are in it. That one's been broke up. Oh, is that thing stripped? I hope not. Nah. Boy, it's in there. That ain't even the right size plug. Somebody just jammed that in there, so I guess dirt daubers wouldn't get in there. A rat has started uh, to build its home in here. I don't know how they get sticks like that up in here. Well, that screw is still in there. That's handy. Huh, that's lucky. We pulled this thing like 50 miles home and somehow that didn't fall out of there. The oil don't look too bad. It's still oily, but it's low on oil, but at least it's got oil in it. So we're missing distributor cap points, condenser, all the plugs are in it, which is a good sign, except for that one's the wrong size. I'm assuming this one came out of it years ago because they're all AC plugs and maybe this one was bad and they didn't have another one, I don't know. The water pump is locked up. Hopefully the motor ain't locked up. This old truck did come from Alabama, it looks like, because uh, that's what the tag says on her. We're going to go ahead and uh, pull them plugs out, spray her full of PB Blaster, let her set for a while, and try to get this a girl rolling over. Time we'll pull these plugs out of here and see what we get. Well, they may just be hand tight in here. Bunch of rust on the threads, but it don't look too bad. No, I guess they ain't hand tight. Yeah, they are. That one is at least. I don't know if that's a good sign or not. Bunch of rust on the threads from a sudden with out being tight. Huh. This may be the easiest spark plugs we've ever pulled out of one of these. We know this one's just sitting in there. Them are just barely hanging on in there too. The only bad thing about that is it lets moisture in, so. Mm -hmm. That one was cross-threaded. Well then, we're gonna give her some good old PB Blaster and this one may be a little easier to get running than I thought it would be. You always want to be generous with the PB Blaster because it works pretty good.
when I did pull it home, it was leaking water. I think that radiator hose down there is busted. Hopefully it's not frozen busted. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spray the rest of these and we'll get back with the you guys. The old girl set for a while with that PB blaster in there. We got a battery, so we're gonna try to see if she'll whirl over. Somebody done did the conversion to put the battery cables underneath the hood because most of these they were underneath the uh, pasture side floorboard. Wait a minute, we about we about messed up on that one. This is the positive, and this is the positive, and this is the ground. We had to buy another universal starter because, uh, well, universal key, because I broke the other one the other day, so we got a brand new shiny one. I think she's out of gear, so maybe I won't run with her. I guess she wasn't locked up. She whirls good. Oh yeah, battery terminal's a little loose. Here, wires burning. Oh, it's this. That's what's burning. Okay. At least there ain't something in the cab. There. You know, we're also missing a rotor button. I don't think I took that into account. I'm not sure we have one. Huh. So we have a set of points and a condenser. These are not new by any means, but we're gonna throw them in there. I did clean them up. They've been sitting on a shelf for a long time. They came out of something else we had that uh, we had to change the points in it again because we had the wrong uh, set of points. I'm glad them little screws are in there though. That saves us a lot of trouble. Okay, go something like this down in there. Let's see. I don't know if that screw's loose or not, but we're going to see if we can get it jammed in there. Went ahead and got a rotor button off of another truck, so if we're lucky, I don't know. That may be too wide. Maybe too wide. No, it fits. Okay. We didn't see if the points worked, but we're going to have to hook up a, you know, a, a cool before we can really do that. Oh, yeah, I better tighten them down. No, I was forgetting some step. So far, this has been real easy. It's not my stuff down. So, we'll call you one. 
five. Good enough rope to reach the five. Yep. Three. them all untangled here. Yeah, the good old MSD coil. I like to use these things because they got a lot of juice to them. And running negative ground so the positive gets to go to the distributor. Guess we could put this in here. Yeah, that one's a little loose. Well, uh, well, this one's bent. Can't win for losing on this thing. Now, we should have something. Just got a connector to the battery. We're gonna see if she'll hit, and then we're gonna go ahead and change that oil. So she should fire right up. Some reason when they've been setting for a long time, once you get them cranking over and them rings moved around in them cylinders, a lot of times the next day they'll fire right off. It did rain about four million inches last night, so we're standing in two feet of water over here. But we'll make her work. Gas. Maybe not. Okay, a little bit of throttle. Okay, we're getting there.
that long. We let her run out of gas. We'll let her cool down here for a minute. It may not make any sense, but I like to get them fairly warm, not too hot, before we do a whole lot to them. As soon as you get them running, you got to keep them running, or they don't like to start back. I think it has to do with the ring setting that long, and they somewhat are stuck, but we've got her. She ain't too warm. She's still cold to the touch there. Well, lukewarm. So we'll let her sit for a good 30 minutes or so, and we'll put some water in the old girl, and we'll see what... We'll see if she'll move underneath her own power. She don't smoke too bad, but uh, there's a whole bunch of wasps pouring out of this thing. I think they're in the exhaust somewhere. We got rid of a nest that was underneath there yesterday. So I'm gonna say they made a home in that nest there. Well, a home in that exhaust pipe. So we'll have to do something about that. Oh, they're everywhere. They're flying around everywhere and they're mean. She tried to run away on us. Uh, not sure what that was about, but uh, she runs, she drives. I think a throttle spring came undone. I have to say the technology gives me more trouble than the dadgum old vehicles. We got her to drive and uh, then the camera decided it was no longer gonna record. So, pull we'll back the old girl up and hopefully she'll fire off for it. did not come undone it's still hooked up so still pulling not sure what went wrong there but uh we're gonna let her cool down the water pump's not circulating of course so we ain't gonna we don't run her long we don't want to melt her down but she runs she drives we're gonna see if the dump bed works here in a minute there's not much of a clutch really left in this thing i'm not sure if it's just from setting or that may have been why it was parked the carburetor seems to be working okay-ish our fuel system delivering fuel but i keep dumping the clutch no matter what i do because sometimes you let off of it and it just slings out of there and sometimes it's at the very top of the pedal before she comes loose i think she's just stuck i tried getting her in a bind when we had her on that ramp to try to put some torque on it but i think just from setting there's probably some rust between there but she's a running she backs up she goes forward we're going to try the PTO here in a second and see if the bed will dump. Hopefully the clutch will hold up for that. This thing is full of red wasps. They've just been flying all over me for the past ah, 10 or so minutes when we've been trying to get this thing to back up. Also, there's a bunch of yellow jackets in here. Not sure what that's about, but they're none too happy. <laughs> I think it's got a place to put the hydraulic juice set. You'd think it'd stay in there after 40-something years, maybe. We'll try that again. <laughs>
there at the end, she didn't want to go backwards because that rear tire on the uh, driver's side was spinning. There's a bunch of rubber and stuff wrapped up around the uh, wheels. We'll get that cleaned off here in the next couple days, but we got her running. She runs pretty good. We do need to order a carburetor rebuild kit for the old girl, and I think the clutch is starting to go. It, it's getting a little bit better, I think, but that may have been why she was parked, and the bed won't dump because the PTO is out. It will not work. I messed with it for a good 45 minutes, and we just couldn't get her to work. But thank you guys for watching. I got to say, she runs pretty doggone good for sudden for 43 years. And you can see, uh, she sat for a while because she's got the floor pan delete. But thank you guys for watching. You guys will see a AAR CUDA video here pretty soon. This Saturday, it's when we put a 5.9 Cummins in. The original blue car, it'll be a while. It's just me working on these things, and we got 7 million projects we're doing, and it takes some time. Uh, here, towards the end of this month, we should have a really cool will it run. That's why we've been not buying as many cars recently because we're saving up to buy this one. Well, it ain't exactly a car, but if we can get it bought, it'll be the coolest will it run we'll probably ever do. But again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.